go much further here, I do want to point out one little detail. I'm going to zoom in over here to the frame's edge so you can see what's going on. My landmass is sitting on top of the frame, and that's because the frame is underneath, the frame layer is underneath the base land layer. The frame and the line of the landmass are in fact perfectly aligned and perfectly clipped. It's just that this line for the landmass has a thickness and so is overlapping the frame. I don't want that. I want the frame to be sitting on top of the landmass. Well, how do I fix that? Well, what I like to do is actually sandwich my entire map between the bottom frame and an upper frame. Before I go any further, let me go ahead and establish that so that you can see what's going on. And it will also introduce you to another way to create a layer that's very, very handy. I'm going to go back over here and lock the layers. And I already showed you how you can go down here and create a new layer just by clicking on this button, right? By the way, now I have layer 3. What if I don't want layer 3 anymore? I can take layer 3 and I can drag it to the trash can and now it's gone. So I can create new layers and I can throw them in the trash as well. But what if I want to duplicate a whole layer? I want a new frame. I take the frame and I drag it down to the new layer icon. And when I do that, it immediately makes a copy of that frame. So you can see now that I've got frame copy here and everything that was in that layer has been exactly duplicated. So what I'm going to do is create my map sandwich here by going up here to the top. Now I'm going to zoom to fit to screen so you can see what's going on. Now I have a copy of the frame. I don't want to call it frame copy. I'm going to call it upper frame. So this will be the very top layer of the map right here and everything that I draw will go in between these two. Now I'm going to select that frame and then I'm going to make it clear. So there's no fill. Now let's go back and investigate what's going on. I'm going to zoom in over here. Now that's what I want. I've got the landmass that comes right up to the neat line, the border of my map, and then immediately stops. And that's a very easy way to do that by duplicating the frame like that. And now I'm going to lock the upper frame so that I don't accidentally move it around. And now everything that I draw needs to be inside or between the upper frame and that lower frame, that initial frame of the map.